Hello, I'm here to give you a few directions on how to edit your habitat research project. I've opened up my copy of the template and I wanted to show you how to input some of your research. In the template, you will notice that I have directions here. So the name of habitat is on the front page in your name. In order to edit those, you're gonna wanna click on top of um, what I have written and then you can click at the beginning and hit delete or go to the end and hit backspace. Once that deleted, once that is deleted, you are going to type in the name of your habitat and then go down and click your name. And again, you can hit delete from the front or click in the end and click backspace. You're gonna type in your name. Once you've done that, you can come over to the side and these are the rest of your slides. You're gonna click the next one and this tells me what lives there. I'm going to click to add my text. You can choose to do one of two things. You can choose to write in sentence form your animals that live there or you can do bullets. What a bullet is, is a list um, where you would just write the name of the animals um, with a little symbol next to it. That's what the bullet is. So I'm going to click bullet just to show you what that looks like. A dot appears and I'm going to write some of my animals in the list. So it lives in the ocean. Octopus, a whale I have written down dolphin. Okay, those are a couple of my animals and I've done that in bullet form. So again, to do that, you're going to come up here where it has bulleted lists. There's the dots in a row and click that. When you type in your words and then hit enter on the keyboard, it will bring up another bullet for you. If you have finished writing your list and see that you have an extra bullet, you can click the backspace button and it will get rid of that. All right, I've got what lives there. I'm going to go down to what grows there and I'm going to click in here. Again, remember, you can either do a bulleted list or if you would rather write a sentence, you can do that as well. I'm going to say kelp grows in the ocean. Remember to capitalize the beginning of your sentence and to put a period at the end. Before um, I finish this, I do want to um, show you one more thing. When you get down to where in the world are blank located, I've given you another set of directions, which is to type your habitat in the top. I've clicked my mouse and I'm deleting what I have written there. So where in the world are oceans located. If you have a desert or rainforest, where in the world are deserts located? Where in the world are rainforests located? Fill in your information before you go down and add where in the world um, you found them. Remember, we're looking for your countries or continents. Last is the sources page. This is where you're writing down either in bullet form or in sentence form, where you got your information. So what databases you used. So if you used Britannica School, you're gonna type that. If I click enter, I'll get a new bullet. If you used World Book Online, you're gonna type that. If you use TrueFlix, you'll write that. I believe those are your three options that we had. So you're gonna write down the sources that you used. If you did not use World Book Online, don't write it down. Only write what you used. So that is the basics for how to complete the information portion of your habitat research project.